This week, we're going to be continuing our living room makeover series. Because if I have to keep painting coats on this thing, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to be continuing our living room makeover series by doing some prep work projects. If you've not seen the first episode of this series, go back and watch it first. That's where we did all of our planning and our designing and kind of created our entire project plan for this whole series. And it was a really good one, so make sure to go watch that first. I'll leave it linked for you below. Like I said, this week is all about the prep work. And I don't mean boring prep work. I mean prep projects that we kind of need to do now because they're going to be harder to do later and they're kind of going to get in the way. So these are things like caulking all of the molding while the room is semi-empty. It's things like refinishing the coffee table right now so that way we can go ahead and get it where it goes and we're not playing Tetris later on to try to get it in front of the sofa later. And refinishing our blanket ladder which is currently refinished in a really rustic gray that kind of leans too blue for our space. So I want to refinish it and make it a little bit more modern and match our style a little better. We're also going to go ahead and rearrange all of the furniture where it's going to go and delete any pieces that won't be staying once this makeover is complete. So we're kind of going to be taking inventory of the pieces we currently have to see what we will be using in the space and see kind of what won't work well in the space. So let's go ahead and get started on these smaller projects and continuing this living room makeover series. Side after giving it a really good scuff sand we definitely got rid of the gouges that Rambo had left but we brought it back inside because we're supposed to actually get some rain tonight it kind of looks gloomy out and between that and how warm it has been I'm afraid the humidity is going to keep it from curing and we have the room for it in here so why not so I brought it back in here and I'm going to work on painting it tonight This thing took no less than six coats of paint and I knew that this paint always takes a lot of coats but especially considering a lot of this I wasn't able to scuff sand super super well and then also 
just the amount of curves and nooks and crannies on this thing. And I've kind of come to the place where I can live with it. And if as we're living with it, I notice a spot that I need to touch up that I missed, I'll hit it then. I'll just touch it up later. Um, because if I have to keep painting coats on this thing, I'm going to lose my mind. So it is time to add the sealant to the top. And originally I was gonna do a poly because I kind of wanted to fill in these gaps here. The design of the top of the coffee table, but we've lived with it for years now. And honestly, I'm a little concerned with poly just because if you don't get it on right, if you have any kind of brush marks, air bubbles, anything like that, it can look really, really bad. And so instead, I think what I'm gonna do is do my trusty finishing wax. And this will give it a good finish on the top of it. And if I need to touch it up later, I can add more wax. But in general, I've had really good success with this, especially for projects for like myself or that we use around the house. Uh, I used this on our dresser upstairs and that was one of my first furniture flips. And that dresser gets some use. It gets some wear and tear every day. And so I think that this will hold up pretty well for this. This is the part that I've not been able to wait for ever since I found these knobs on one of my recent antique thrift hauls. I knew that they would be perfect for this table. It is time to refinish this blanket ladder. Like I said before, it's just too gray. It almost has like a blue tongue to it and it just doesn't match our space now. And it's definitely not gonna match our new living room. My original idea for it was to do like a two tone dipped blanket ladder effect. But after I kind of came over here just to see what it would be like to sand a little section down to the wood to potentially either leave it raw or to stain it, I just don't think this wood is high quality enough and I think that it would take entirely too much of my effort to sand it down to that raw wood and even then I'm not sure I'd be happy with the result and it's just got blankets on it. So I don't think I'm going to waste my time and energy on that when I'll be just as happy with it just painted solid black. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and give it a first coat on this side and we'll come back and flip it later. By the way, this is the gorgeous antique dresser that I've had just sitting out here. Um, I don't know why it all of a sudden it wound up being like a storage unit, but this is what I'm going to be fixing up to put on the back wall in the living room. It's like a really beautiful mirror on the top and like a lamp. It's just, it's going to be stunning. Look at the feet on it. Oh, obsessed with this and I cannot wait to actually have it looking good inside the house. It is time to caulk this living room. This is by far the largest caulking project that I have taken on yet. I have only done the entryway, which was a single wall. I did our upstairs hallway, which was very, very small. And then I recently did our, it's a guest bedroom, but our home office makeover. So that was the first full room I've done. And so now I'm about to try to tackle this massive room here. So wish, 
me luck as I guess I start in one corner and make my way all the way around. <laughs> Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoor, forever free. living room makeover. I know that this episode was a little boring, that there wasn't a whole lot going on, but it was super, super necessary. Getting the coffee table painted, getting the caulking done, getting the room rearranged, and, and kind of omitting the things that are not going to be staying. All of this is going to set us up for our next projects, and it still is a huge difference from where we started in the last episode. So we are definitely making progress and I'm really excited because in the next episode, we're tackling the windows. I cannot wait to get my hands on these windows. You do not understand 
the struggles that we have had with these blinds. I know that they don't look horrible right now, but they don't work. And it has been such a struggle for years and we've kind of just been fighting them. So I'm really excited to address those, to get some soft curtains, to paint the windows. It's just going to make such a big difference. And so I cannot wait for that episode. So if you are enjoying this living room makeover, make sure to go ahead and subscribe so that way you do not miss out on any of the future makeovers coming up in the series. And I will see you next time. Bye.